Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to flash your i9 or i68 Chinese mobile phone. So what you have to do is to have your mobile phone and to successfully flash your mobile phone you need a special cable. I've purchased mine on the eBay and you have to you have to be aware that the normal data cable from your phone does not work for for that purpose so that there are different tutorials on the net on how to build your own cable but uh, I've got the pre-built one this is mine so you have to have um, the driver for the cable which usually comes with the package but I've got mine already pre-installed on my system but just in case so you have to open the device manager and it should be there under the ports so mine is prolific USB to serial COM port and you have to remember the number of your COM port so mine is number 4 that is important alright and now we need the program the flashing program to actually flash the phone different people are using different programs uh, flash tool is a very popular tool for that purpose but for some reason it does not work with my phone so this particular model is not the actual i9 siphon the Chinese manufacturer but it's a copy of it which is in fact a copy of the copy where siphon is the copy of the original Apple's model and this is the clone of the clone so these Chinese guys got too far with it so I'm using a different tool I've got a bunch of them uh, it's called spider-man and well actually and usually it is the the best to use latest but for some reason the latest the version 2.61 does not work with my phone so I'm using the version 2.47 I launched that and here comes the interface so you have to click on connect button and it starts to communicate with the port which is actually a USB to COM port adapter then you have to click here set new port and choose here the actual port that we have remembered so in my case that's number four this is my port in case if there are any problems if you have problems uh, flashing or downloading the firmware from the phone so you can choose the baud rate, baud rate which is the speed of the port so you can decrease that but it works okay with mine and here are different tabs uh, we need MTK just the default one because MTK is the platform uh, is the processor platform of the uh, siphon that we are going to flash and we don't need the others these are for the different phones next first and foremost we need to back up the firmware the original firmware from our phone because this is important because if you flash the phone with the new firmware it and it might be broken and you might come up with a non-working phone with a dead phone which is what we don't want so it is crucial to back up the original firmware that's what we are going to do so click on the read button and you have to name it somehow in my case this will be the backup okay then click save and this is right about time to insert the cable but at this point you have to be sure that your phone is completely switched off and that your battery is fully charged because this will take some amount of energy this process will require some energy from the battery so we plug uh, we actually plug it in there it goes the process has started and you can see the progress bar so it's downloading some bootload or whatever two passes we have to wait next ta-da 
there it comes if you see the green progress bar going on so that's it we are downloading uh, the firmware successfully this will take a while be patient okay it's right about to finish that's it now we unplug the cable and now we need to reset the battery okay there it goes it boots up successfully that's okay okay once you downloaded the firmware and you've got the backup you have to check what version you've got to do that I use this W China tool proggy which is specifically made for that purpose and I open where is it that that backup file and we can see here it is so you have to find the, the, the version that the upgraded version of the firmware which suits best your model and what is of importance here is the size of the firmware which in my case is 32 megabytes okay the next what we're going to do is to flash our phone with the new firmware we are going what we need for that is click on the flash button and select select the firmware that we need to flash it with so I choose this one and once again make sure that that your phone is switched off and here I'm going to insert the cable once again it starts there it goes The process is very similar, we see the same bars, first two red bars, we're going to see one more, there it is, and now we see the blue bar, the blue progress bar tells us that the flashing is in progress. Be advised that it will take a while to finish, it will probably take 5 to 15 minutes. So there it comes, it's right about to finish. That's it, here we go. We take the phone, unplug the cable. And now what we need to do is, if we simply press the power button, the phone won't start. So we have to pull out and reinsert the battery to reset the phone. Okay. There it comes. So that's basically it. Hope this is of a help for you. Thanks for watching.